Ox. Your Atlanta Ox. What's the number? 36.5. Oh, higher. <laughs> they won 36 last year, and a, no, nobody cares because they're still the Hawks, but a lot went wrong. That's why I thought the number would be out slightly higher. Also, th- the bottom of the East is going to be like the swillest. Sure. The swill. <laughs> sure. So I feel like that's a, that's a couple right there. I'm going higher. Trey Young had never missed double digit games in his career and he missed 28 last year. Like I don't think that happens again. They finally like decided they made a DeJounte decision. They have some center, they have some Okongu insurance which they which they just haven't had mm-hmm. and he needs cuz he's been injured. I think Risha Shea gives you some like some Jalen Johnson Hunter insurance. They have a higher floor. Again, I don't think I don't have any playoff rounds this team is winning, but I do think the floor is higher than 36 and a half, so I'm going higher. I don't hate it. I don't. It's it's again one of the, some of these numbers. I'm just like, oh, obviously lower, obviously higher, and then I'm still wrong. But this is one where it's like, no, I I do fear I could see I could see this either way. Um, I'm trying to find last. Like I've got them in the nine. I think they end up back in the play in almost probably same as X spot as last. Just because again, I think the bottom is going to be bad, bad. Yeah, like the Bulls had three more wins than them last year. Don't know that I agree there. The Sixers, they're already trending downward, which you just hate to see. The Nets won 32 last year. That I don't know that that improves. I don't know that improves. Oh, that's going well. way lower, buddy. <clears throat> now the Raptors, uh, they may hit all their threes like they did last night in the preseason, so that's concerning. But even if they do win more, I don't know if they're taking a jump to like 40. That's what I'm saying. I'll go the higher, but I don't know that it's a 40 win team. It may be a 38 win team. Pro- I, I think that's the nine seed, maybe the eight. <laughs> Home court. Uh, yeah. I like, what's the case for lower? Because again, the Hawks, like this has been the bad year. Like, or last year was the bad year. They're usually in the play. Now, they get smoked, but they're the eighth or seventh seed. Right. Um, I guess if, if they got off to just a dreadful start and then it's still Snyder, right? They didn't switch head coaches. Yeah, it's still Snyder. They have to, again, find another coach. That's where I could see things going poorly. Um, but, like, Jalen. Jaylen- signed one of them uh- – I think he might have a little equity on the back end. So I'm t- I don't think Snyder going nowhere. Maybe. Um, I'm mean, very interested in, in Jalen Johnson. Like, ever, ever since he quit Duke, he just keeps getting better every single time he plays. It feels like he's getting better. Mm-hmm. So that's where he could uh, – they could have that jump into the 40s. Like, if it – if the backcourt is just less cluttered between uh, no uh, – DeJounte and Trey, that's already one thing. And then if Jalen Johnson takes another step forward, even if he's just the same as last year, uh, just more polished and consistent. Yeah, I could. I, that's where I could see it coming to 40. Cody Zeller is still catching checks. Love that. Sure. Uh, great Olympics for, for Bogdan. Tremendous oh, Olympics. Dyson Daniels, too. This is team Olympics. That's what I'm saying. Again, I... <laughs> I get that. I don't think there's like if everything goes right, I still don't think this is a 50 win team. But if everything sure. goes wrong, I'd be surprised if the team won like 32 games. I feel like they shored up a lot. Like if, even if Trey knock on wood misses a lot of time again, I think you just go Bogdanovich at point guard. And if not him, then Kobe Bufkin. Right. And you just go size everywhere and give Jalen Johnson more. Like I feel like they've kind of safe proofed the bottom falling out because they don't have their own pick. So it's like they, we can't have this go completely off the rails. Yeah. They traded their pick and they have the Lakers pick, right? Correct. Okay. All right. And they have some guys too, that if, if they are just like that eight seed and they're like, we can still get this, but we can also still get some stuff for a Larry Nance for, a Zeller, like they have a couple pieces they could move at the deadline. And Capella expiring. 
<laughs> he's re-signing. Is what he, <laughs> Maybe, but, but he's they keep wanting to trade him and Okongwu keeps getting hurt. That's what it is. So if, if this is the year that Okongwu plays 45 games before the All-Star break, I know as soon as he gets traded, that's when he turns an ankle. But. They're reaching out uh, to shake Leon Rose's trade uh, hand for a, a successful <laughs> trade uh, agreed upon. And then the, the Timberwolves, like Ralph Wiggum, come through the front window. And yeah, uh, what about Carl dodge. Anthony Towns? Yeah. <laughs> Bodega Cat. Atlanta DDV would have been unbelievable. I think anywhere. DDV might be on that. Anywhere DDV would be incredible. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, the, how do you prep? Boston? Boston, Boston Celtics. We talked about them the other day. Who after this? Yeah. I suppose uh, 58 and a half. Yeah, we can just write down the higher and move on. It's not, it's not an issue. Now, if last year you you famously took the lower. Uh, sure. You said the Pistons are taking those wins. Why higher? Hey, and they, listen, wins? I was wrong. The Hawks took those wins. <laughs> why, why higher this year for you? This year, I thought they were playing for May and June. This year, I think they're playing for it. Game one, game two, game three. I think they're playing for it all. Yeah. I think they're locked in. I think they're the best team in the league in this conference. And I don't think they're complacent. So it's a higher. And again, I think the like the, those Nets Wizards, like bottom of it, I think they're going to be much worse than last year. So easy, easy dubs there. Oh, I mean, they uh, they had to beat the Hornets in March to win the season series. <laughs> The only question I have, do you can this team go like full eighty two and four rounds if knock on wood if Porzingis doesn't play a minute? Yeah, you think they can still win it all? Oh yeah, yeah. He Even played, like played. the added minutes for Horford, the added that's where so Tillman Horford huge. Tillman Tillman's massive, like, and they really do like it's different because Cornet doesn't shoot threes, but he can't pass, so that's where they can put him in the high post. And have him run the yacht like the rest of the four guys. It's not the five out, obviously, mm-hmm. but they like how he defends the rim. Uh, they, they just, I don't know, the chemistry really couldn't be better here. Um, yeah, it, it's it's Horford. If if Horford goes down, I get substantially more worried. You know what I mean? Like instantly worried. Uh, but they like what they saw at Aketa last year. If he can play again, it's not going to be a five out with him either. Hmm. So it does change things, but I think Missoula has proven like he can adapt. He's not just going to play one way. If like last year, when people were like this team shoots too many threes, it's like, well, they they lead the league in points per possession. In the they post, make so them. Yeah. I, I don't know that they they also do make them. So that's where it's like Pritchard keeps improving every year. I think Drew's going to get more rest this year. He's in year fifteen. Uh, Did see Walsh. Like, my boy Walsh getting some preseason run. He's been doing great in the preseason. Mm-hmm. He, he looks he looks different than he does in uh, the summer, like summer league. Mm-hmm. Tillman looks better. Like he had been banged up last year in Memphis, which I didn't realize he had off season uh, a knee scope. I don't think it was surgery. And Tillman's been I think he went three for three uh, the other day from three. Like that's not all oh, preseason. Like you were saying the other day with uh, slow mo. It's not. Going yeah. to a new team like the uh, Celtics, if they're trading for Tillman, it's because he was what twenty nine percent three point shooter in in Memphis. Like he had, he'd taken them sometimes, but it wasn't like a, a part of his game. Hmm. It's going to be a part of his game if he wants to see the court. It's going to be a part right. of his game here, and I don't need him to shoot forty percent. You know what I mean? I don't need him to be Porzingis. I just need the threat of it. I just need it. Thirty two, thirty three percent is more than if he's taking three threes and he's hitting he's one of them. them. Yeah, thrilled, thrilled with that result. Uh, higher. You said fifty-eight. Eight and a half. What was the number? Fifty-eight and a half. Yeah, they went yeah, sixty-four. Nah, last I think they year. in the six, Yeah, I think they in the sixties again. Yeah, I think it's just another sixty. Like I think on if if Jalen and Tatum had played in the Olympics, I I think they would have been closer to fifty-eight. I genuinely think that, but mm-hmm. Missoula is going to remind them all year that they were not. <laughs> again, that's where Steve Kerr dropped the ball. That boy Jason Tatum would have been playing forty-five for me out there. I know them games not even forty-five minutes. 
Brooklyn Nets. Ooh, this is a much lower number than I expected. 18 and a half. 18? That's a... Man, I might go even low. Like once they got their <laughs> own pick back from the uh, the Rockets, that was right. like, I'm sure they've moved into Cooper Flag's like neighborhood <laughs> at this point. They have people in his dorm room. They got people at the New Balance camp. Eighteen and a half. That's dastardly what? low. I, yeah, I wonder. I don't know. I know. You said it the other day, like they want people to be afraid of the low lowers, but I do think there are like, like players here that could be like they're trying. They have a new coach is not going to be, I don't think completely, just out with it. They also have what I like on this team. Only thing I'm looking for, Cam Thomas is plus four thousand to lead the league in scoring. Okay, (laughs) he led them in scoring last year. Not Mikael Bridges. No, twenty two and a half. Yep. On 18 shots again. Again, Bridges is gone. They have their own pick. And it's time to pay Cam Thomas. So Cam Thomas is going to say it's Cam Thomas time. Hey, listen, he, there's no team you can drop Cam Thomas onto mm-hmm. where he's not going to say it's Cam Thomas time. There's no situation. Yeah, but he admit, but he's like, I, I got to prove it, though, now. It's, it's time to pay Cam Thomas plus 4000 Again, it's probably going to be Luka or... Giannis again, one of the favorites, yeah, but plus four thousand for a guy that all he does is like a bucket. That's what he does. We said this about someone like oh, it was uh Jordan Poole last year. He's Jordan he's this year's Jordan Poole. When Jordan Poole got traded to the Wizards, we were like, he might he might average thirty just because who's he gonna pass to? And then he didn't. Um the difference is Jordan Poole lost his confidence for reasons. Yeah. Cam Thomas has never lost his confidence. I also am I'm, I'm hearing this. This may be something I knew, but maybe not. Cam Thomas is Japanese. I did not know that. I did not know that. Is he playing for the, the uh, Japan national team? How Japanese is he? Is he, is he FIFA Japanese? Born in he was born in uh, Yoko Yokosuka, Japan. I did not know that. Was he like raised? Where was he raised? It. I <laughs> basketball reference only has the only so much. Uh, yeah, just the yeah, bird. Had no idea. Not a clue. I mean, he definitely went to high school here. Uh, what if he didn't? <laughs> just Tokyo's fine. So the early life on Wikipedia. And this will get more fleshed out this season. Like we'll just, we'll know more about Cam Thomas as he uh, during his ascent to stardom. Thomas was born in uh, Yokosuka, Japan, while his mother was living there. When he was seven, he won a contest by making thirty three free throws in a row. I don't even know if that was in Japan. It just it just goes right from yeah, this guy lived in Japan. He then he won a free throw contest, and then as a freshman, Thomas began playing basketball in Chesapeake, Virginia. Uh, oh God! Okay. <laughs> he did not play his sophomore season because he and his mother quote weren't on the same page as the team's coaching staff. <laughs> that's not very can I believe that. I don't even need to check if that's true. Uh, for his junior season, he transferred to Oak Hill, uh, which feels like a pretty big jump for a guy who didn't play sophomore year. <laughs> I feel like if I'm if I'm mom and Cam Thomas, that's all I would need to know to know I was right. Oh, Oak Hill just took me right off the street, off a red shirt. <laughs> as a senior at Oak Hill, he averaged thirty one and a half, leaving the program as uh, leaving as the program's all time leading scorer. That's crazy. Plus four thousand, man. <laughs> He's going to play on other teams in the future that won't be projected to win this low a game. I, I don't know how many teams ever will be projected to win this few a game where he might have to scale back those shots a minute. Right now, or I, I don't know who else he would look at in that locker room and be like, oh, you have a better opportunity of getting the ball in the basket than me. Plus 4,000. That's all I'm saying. Is Google Cam Thomas real quick. Yeah. Uh, Uh-oh. I, it, his main picture, I'm pretty sure, is him wearing a T-shirt with him on it. <laughs> it yeah, with autograph. Yeah, it says Cam <laughs> Thomas down there. That's what I, I wanted to make sure. That's what it said. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted to make sure I wasn't seeing things. 
<laughs> and I, I don't know if you can see. There's another, yeah, because there's a uh, compilation on the back of different pictures of Cam Thomas in the net. <laughs> plus, right. again, plus four thousand is all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'll be taking the lower, but I, I am. How many fifty point games for Cam Thomas this year? Higher or lower? Five and a half. Let's see, I think he's pretty durable. Nah, I, higher. Because it's gonna get, he gonna have some three for twenty eight. Well, he's gonna have some twenty two for twenty eight. Right, it'll all balance out in the wash, mm-hmm. but it, it won't be a consistent. 30 uh like there'll be there'll be games where he has 40 and games where he has 10 for sure like that's or i guess that's wrong uh, that's not great math 35 and 15 is that there what we go i also yeah that's not that's right. 25 a game that's 25 yeah. yeah people know what i mean uh sure. <laughs> this isn't a math show uh the chicago bulls what's it you going higher or lower you said oh much lower much you think Adam, an Adam Silver sweet league? You think we get much lower than eighteen and a half these days? Listen, listen. He wouldn't bring up find a Colangelo to, we, uh, to bring to the net. <laughs> We've talked. I need larger and larger collars. We talked a lot about Cam Thomas, who we both obviously adore. Uh, we didn't talk about the fact that this team likely will have Killian Hayes and Ben Simmons on the court at the same time. Will they? They'll have him on the roster. They'll have him on the roster. Are they, they going to – Ben Simmons, like, which games play 19 and a half. This year. <laughs> does he play – like, does he play a quarter of the season? I, I want to so. believe. It, it's contract. I, I want to believe. Man. I do, too. I mean, this – he uh, this is Ben Simmons' career to this point. Age 20, did not play. The Sixers were not playing rookies at that point. Uh Age 21, 81 games played, rookie of the year. 22, all-star, 79 games. 23, 57 games. That was 2020, though. That wasn't him. Right. Led the league in steals per game. Fourth in deep boy. First team all defense. All NBA third team, all-star. 24, 58 games. That may have, that I think was. That's that's another shortened season, yeah. It was short, but I do think injuries were not as short. But normal yeah. injuries at that point. Second in Depoy, twelfth <laughs> in MVP, first team All Defense, All Star. Then the twenty one happened. Twenty one, twenty two, did not play. Uh, parentheses holdout slash back injury. I'm like y'all couldn't just put back. Twenty six. 42 games, 33 starts. He had started every game of his career till this season. Uh, by the way, he'd averaged 15, 15.8, 16.9, 16.4, 14.3 points per game. 6.9 points per game for the 22-23 Brooklyn Nets. Nice. Last year, 12 uh, games started, 15 games played, 6.1 points per game. Uh, 19 so, yeah. and a half, I ask you again. I want it to be the higher. I want it to be this 23-year-old Ben Simmons. I just, there's nothing that really says that's going to happen. Nothing. I do think they had, like, with like Dorian Finney-Smith, they got Schroeder, who did have a good Olympics. Like, a couple guys that they, like Cam Johnson, if they really want, I think they still have Royce O'Neal. Like, they have some pieces they could trade. (laughs) No, Royce and is gone, isn't he? Did, oh, I thought he resigned. With he was uh, he? uh, he got oh, traded Suns, to the Suns. Right. Yeah, yeah, Sun. No, you're right. Um, either way, I try to trade, and, and I'd be looking at, I was looking at first rounders from the last two drafts. Like guys, if your team clicks this year, you just might not be like Jarris Walker, who again I like, but if you're just out of the rotation soon, you could be gettable. Jet Howard. Uh, Hush Shafino, Omax Prosper, like first rounders last year, but on playoff teams. It was like, no, nah, we'll take the, you're not going to get any time to play there. We'll try to, we'll help you out. And then they hope for Cooper Flyer. But I, I, I don't know, Benny boy. I hope Amari Bailey plays a lot for this team. That's what I genuinely hope. I hope there's a lot of Amari Bailey. It should be. 
and like Whitehead, like those are the guys. They run sharp. Uh, yeah, it should be any first rounder they took in these like last few drafts. That I don't know if they any of them still there, but yeah, it's it's a bad bad team. Uh, like maybe the uh, maybe yeah, the coach. I'll go lower, man. It's, it's maybe I hope the coach is good. Like I, he should get all the rope in the world to try shit and and fail and try other shit and succeed. Like he, there's no reason that that should be like, Oh man, this guy, we, we, this isn't up to our standard. Like, no, this is, this is your standard for sure. Do you trust the nets to make that decision? Oh, Bogdanovich. No. That's not Royce O'Neal. Bogdan, Bojan. Um, yeah. Tradable piece. Oh yeah. They could absolutely tear it down. Uh, more. Oh, uh, it's torn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More. It's more yeah, tearing to be done. Yeah. 32 games last year is pretty impressive. Uh, well, it, that was the like Jacques Vaughn. Let's try until they were like, "Hey, Mikael Bridges, what if what if we broke your playing game streak? What if that was cool? Would you like that?" So after that, they after they fired Vaughn, like they intentionally went in the tank, tank, mm-hmm. trying to get under. So this year they they start with the the lower. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I think it's gonna be. Remember when Pop said take the under before the Weminyama tank year? <laughs> Nothing, no one cared. Like I, he, he wasn't suspended immediately. <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah. The Chicago Bulls. Take a guess what their number is. This team won they? 39 games last year. 39? I, I feel it's probably going to be higher than this year. I'll, 32. 27 and a half. I don't know, man. That's really low, but... Very low. That DeRozan and Caruso out. Yeah. Giddy, Buzelis in. Lonzo's apparently playing, like, a, for real this time? Sure. That's what they claim. I hope, like, legit, I hope he does. That's a that's a big jump, but I do not think this team is good. Donovan's still coach. Now I'll go higher because I think they'll be like tenth or eleventh seed, to, just because they'll be trying. Some of these teams are bad and not trying. Just looking at the roster, I don't see like a huge difference between this and the one we were just looking at. <laughs> like Kobe White was, was like DeRozan good. and Caruso. That's what I mean. Like oh, you they, said, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying by the Brooklyn yeah, roster. I like, yeah. I don't, Levine and Cam Thomas, is there a massive gap there? Nah, Levine better, but he not. He's better. He not $45 million <laughs> better. And that's the issue. <laughs> uh, like, now, Vucevic is, is better than everyone on the Nets, uh, pretty comfortably. But, like. I'd I th- I th- I take Claxton before Vucevic. <sighs> Comfortable. Like I don't, Vuce, I don't know what he brings to the table at this point. Twenty and ten. That's what, that's what he brings to the table. Eighteen and ten as of last year. Awesome. No, for sure. Uh, I mean, he's going to win you some games. Claxton's defense is obviously tremendous, and he'll catch some lobs. You get it. I mean, Getty's a fine player. He's obviously a weird person. Mm. Uh, but like a fine player, I just it's not the, uh, the the move I would have made if I were the Bulls. It's not like buying at the lowest. <laughs> well, it's a, your team is he got to have the ball. We saw what happened when he doesn't. So right. that's just reps that Io and Kobe and Buzelis are just not getting. And Levine, I'm not sure Levine's going to be like, yeah, we got to develop the young guys. No. He's like, please trade me. The Lonzo Ball. Williams just got paid. Oh, yeah. A lot. Still not very good, but he got paid. Hey. The <laughs> Lonzo played two years in New Orleans. He played 50 or he played 63 and 55 games. And again, that was 20, both 2020 seasons, the tail end of 2020 and the beginning of 2020. He signed with the Chicago Bulls. Was it like four for 80 or something like that? That sounds something right. 80, 80 or 84 or something like that. He played 35 games. 
and then zero zero now that was that was age 24 25 26 so he's the same age as thon maker do i have that right <laughs> they're both 27 that's Plus the same draft right. <laughs> lonzo, lonzo turned 27 next week or end of this month that's crazy um yeah, it'd be awesome if, but if Lonzo is healthy, which I I want that for him, the human. He played guy. last night, so I don't want him posting videos of him sitting in chairs to prove Stephen A. Smith wrong. I don't want to see that ever again. But if Lonzo is healthy, you certainly don't want to play him and Giddy together. Who do you want to play Giddy with? That's like that's who who. What's the ideal? That's why I don't. I wish they would have just let like I O and. Kobe and Buzelis rock. Keep Caru- like or, or trade Caruso, but trade him for a different piece than one. Because you're gonna have to pay Giddy. I think Giddy gonna get a contract we're gonna be surprised by too. Yeah. Even if they shouldn't, like even if they should be like take it to restricted free agency. I don't think the Bulls are gonna operate like that. He started like Giddy started 80 games last year for Thunder the one seed. They were, right? Yes. Yeah, the one seed. Shea obviously had the ball in his hands plenty, but in the playoffs it was more of a problem. Average 12, 6 and 5. Like for sure a solid player in here. His minutes went down because it was a more serious team. He was averaging 31 the previous two years, 25 last year. His field goal attempts went down by four. Um and yeah, he did like this is Giddy needs to become a better three point shooter. That's really the long and short of it. Well, it's the, or get to the line. Sure. And he doesn't do, he doesn't do that. Like, so it's one of those, like, you got to pick no. one of those. If you're not going to do either one of them, then yeah, it's going to be a tough fit. I just, I don't think he's quick enough to get to the line more. Like, I don't think he has. I don't think he's a good enough shooter to become. A... <laughs> no, like, it's, but a, I, it's improved, but I don't, I don't know when it will get be respected. No, I, I, will go up, but I don't know when it will be respected. Oh, I mean, if the percentage goes up and it doesn't get respected, that's great. A lot of wide open threes. Uh, I'm fine he with had that. that before. Sure, he did have no, a lot for open sure. Threes. Yeah. But he was taking four and four and a half last year, which is uh, the same amount he the same amount he took as a rookie. Actually, that's uh, per per thirty six. He was taking. How did I scroll so far? I didn't even do. He's taking three last year, which is down from the four he took his rookie year. Obviously, the minutes were down too, so it was about the same. Uh, per 36. Yeah, he's going to be taking five. He's going to be hitting 35%. Like, I I feel like it's easier to become a 35% three-point shooter coming from 34% than it is to become quicker in the NBA. Like, I just don't think he can get to the rim and draw fouls, but I do think he can take more, especially on this team. This team's not trying to win a championship, obviously. So you take six threes a game, double this. He needs to double that. Uh, again, if I'm a deep, please take six threes again. Because sure. I think his thing, he's got to get to. The, it don't have to be quickness though. Like again, he's he bigger. He, that's how he's gonna have to use. Like he not Luca, of course, but you're gonna have to use like the advantages you have. You're not gonna blow past people, but if you get like a smaller guy on you, you can punish until you get an easy layup or a foul. That's how you're gonna have to work. And I don't know if they have the spacing around him to make this work. I don't know if no. they have the like any infrastructure around him to feel comfortable. And he's about to get twenty five mil a year. That's where I don't thirty. Even, like I, I don't even necessarily mean like foot speed quicker. Like hmm. Luca, he'll he'll throw like a pass fake and then go up with it all in one motion. Like those hmm. that type of quickness, I don't think could be learned. Yeah, it's more like savvy. Sure. Yeah, that's where it's like I. If he's a thirty three percent three point shooter, but he's taking six a game. I think that's better for him long term. That like Jason Kidd at the, obviously he's not Jason fucking Kidd, but Jason Kidd at this point in his career could not shoot at all, and no one cared because he did everything else well. I, I he doesn't do he don't do else. everything else. That's well. what I mean. All, that's why yeah, that's why he needs. It's to also a way shoot. different game now. That's where it's like I just don't right. I like I don't know where his like if it's not threes, where's his sweet spot that they're gonna be able to be like yeah you get here and that's your is that the mid range is that where are y'all gonna be able to. That's where Vucevic is, because Vucevic not sure. shooting no three. So what? I don't Another know. I'll go, I'll go lower. That's a lower number than I thought, but I will. <clears throat> I'll go lower. 
I'm going to take the higher, but I don't think it's by a lot. Now, if they trade Levine uh, and Lonzo stays hurt, this is uh, an easy lower. But as constructed right now, I'm taking the higher. If they trade Levine, I might go higher. That might be. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I thought they're probably like a 31-win team, but I, I'll, yeah, I'll stick with lower. The Charlotte worst vibes of all time, Hornets. 31.5. That would be a 12. They won 21 games last year. So a 12 win improvement to clear that. Or excuse me, 11. 11 win. Do you think LaMelo Balls plays games for year six in a row? <laughs> He played 22 last year, much lower number than I expected to see. He missed six, he's missed at least 30 games every single season, but one. He played 51 his first year, only started 31 of those, one rookie of the year. How the fuck did he win rookie of the year? All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, listen, that was the, Malcolm Brogdon won a rookie of the year, man. It was a tough time. Sure. He won, who did he win it? Was this over oh, Ant Man, Wiseman, Halliburton. Nah, he was see. doing number. It was just he didn't play like they weren't good, but he what did he average his rookie year? Like 18 and 7 or 8? Oh, he averaged 15.7. That's why I thought like I remember him doing better too. Uh hmm. and six and six. Uh and yeah, averaged 19. Good. 19 and 5. How many is this? Three. Nah, I, I agree with Lamelo. Yeah, this is I no, no. I was reading minutes per game, not points. What are you looking at today, Mick? <laughs> I'm all over the place. Uh, it's a weird, weird rookie class, which you expect given the draft. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, Lamelo Ball. Uh, 51 games his rookie year, 75, year two, where he was an all star. That's when he jumped it up to 20. Um, and shot 39% from three on seven and a half attempts. Like that, that's the guy they were like, yes, this is who we drafted. And then he was at 23 points per game on 36 games, 10.6 attempts from three. Love it. Shot 38%. So that works. I was was like, he's knocking him down. Uh, And then last year, 22 games, 24 points a game. Like he, he'll get buckets, eight assists. Two steals. Like, he's he's the guy, when he plays, he's good. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't play. So, I don't t- Total balls, games played. Set it at. Lower. At, it's, I don't even know what the number to set. 36 and a half. Combined over the past two years, they've played 58, both brothers. So... I don't it's know. a lower for me, man. So yeah, I want, like I think Brandon Miller really does take a step. Uh, Salon apparently has looked nice in preseason. I like them getting Josh Green for nothing. The new coach, Charles Lee, seemed like he should be solid. And still, they resigned Miles Bridges. They sure did. So, I Mark Williams is supposed to be healthy after missing a lot of last year with just back issues for a seven-two guy. I don't know how I feel about that. You get 19 games played for Mark Williams. That's what I mean. Like, there's there's talent here. There's undeniable talent here. And Grant Williams, it, too. That's what I mean. Grant Williams is a solid NBA player. Uh, whether, or not it, whether or not it worked in Dallas, not my problem. Uh, but like you said, Josh Green for free. Taj Gibson's here for some reason. OG, uh, that's assistant coach. <laughs> so, yeah. Charles Lee, I... I, I do think Charles Lee is going to be a very good coach. Uh, Everything not, I've seen has been rave reviews. Whether or not it's here is a different conversation, but yeah, a lot of talent. Brandon Miller was really good last year. Really good. Average 17. Uh, took seven threes a game. Hit 37% of them. Like everything you want from from the wing you took. I don't know. They went against conventional wisdom. Yeah. 
feels like a, like a 10, 10 wins is a tremendous jump and it still doesn't clear this number. So that's where I'm going to take the lower. It, I'll take the high only because I, LaMelo could miss 30 games and he'd still play in 30 more games than he played in last year. <laughs> so if he plays in 30 more, yeah, I think they win 10 more. So I, I, I'll go, I'll go higher there. I do like, what Brandon Miller showed, I, it seems like Mark Williams is good. Like last year was probably cautionary, holding him out that much. I, I from what I know, he's going to be good. Uh yeah, I'll go. I'll go higher there, like a thirty, a stern thirty-two, maybe. <laughs> I just gotta see it. Like that's such a cursed franchise. So I gotta it's see thirty-three bad. wins first. It's nasty out here, man. I need to see it. I get I need, it. <laughs> I need to see it. The Cleveland. Cavaliers. They got rid of that asshole JB Bickerstaff, uh, making him practice and shit. He are listen. He already ruffling feathers now. He said we're not wearing no hoodies during practice in Detroit. They said, "Oh my god, <laughs> what is he on?" Number is, that number is forty-eight and a half. They won forty-eight last higher. Year. Yeah, I I do fear. I also am on the higher. Um, it's a good team. It's a good team. I, I wanted to have this team as my two seed, but I do think they're going to have like a lot of inner division competition and they still might get it, but I, they kept everybody have a coach that Donovan Mitchell likes now, which is <laughs> for essential, now, a, yeah, essential to the operation. And I don't, I, I just think Garland's better than he showed last year. Like he had a lot of like fluky stuff and a really bad year and not a good playoff. I just don't think he's that bad. I don't think he's the player he showed last year. I think he gets back to no. business. No, I mean, it's the lowest he's shot from three since he was a rookie. And yeah. like Garland is one of the best, like just in a gym by himself, one of the best shooters like of all time. Like, I, like that's just who he is. Like that's just what he does. He used to be in the league before. Uh, oh, for sure. A certain shooting guard got there. <laughs> but he averaged forty one percent the year prior, thirty eight, thirty nine point five percent his second year as a rookie. It was thirty five and a half. Like it's he just guns and wasn't part of like even last year he was settling for a lot of long twos, especially in the playoffs. Just not his game so yeah I'm, I'm on the higher here i think this is a 50 win team <clears throat> i like atkinson was did atkinson take that what job did he take that was like charlotte, charlotte he took the yep. job and then turned it down <laughs> it was like no thanks i'm all good smart man yeah i think i think he played that well i think he's in in a much better spot now so yeah i i don't hate that two seed call they were right there last year um and they had some weird, like Jared Allen missed games last year. That's it. Donovan Mitchell's like hamstring fell off. And mm-hmm. He was still like giving him like 30 because everybody else was hurt too. So I was right. like, if y'all just don't have the worst injury luck ever, I think they could clear fees, uh, 50 easily. Yeah, I'm I'm in on, on these calves. And then they got a Coro for a reasonable price. They just waited. The deal that drove Woj out of this sweet business. <laughs> I do like that they didn't completely overreact and trade. Because we talked about the end of last year. Like it's so easy to let the conversation, like, oh, you gotta trade this guy, you gotta trade that guy. I think they paused, they said, Do we really want to do any of this? Like I, we still have a pretty young core here. Do we want to do this right now? We right. there's no rush. We could do all these things next year if we really need to. If it, yeah, if it really goes to shit, yeah, we'll just trade everybody next year. So I like that they're running it back. Like I I don't think they left the Celtics series like we're much worse than them. Now they are, um, but I think they have the right mentality. Yeah. I get like Mobley, I think he probably needed those minutes at the five. This year, that's a weapon you'll be able to have. Jared Allen was playing really well before he got hurt, and he was mm-hmm. well out the entire play or got hurt during the first round. So I yeah, he didn't play against us. This is also like it's been with Bickerstaff, but the last what three four years they have just kind of been mm-hmm. like trash to respectable, respectable to first round, first round to second round. They're taking the steps. And Atkinson was a good coach when he was in Brooklyn. Like obviously he's been on mm-hmm. the bench in Golden State the last couple of years, but. It was a stupid firing at the time. So I don't 
<laughs> and the Nets are on what, Coach, three since then? Oh, listen, Sean Marsh has hired like 10 coaches. I was like, it's got to be really <laughs> What GM has hired the most coaches? Uh, but I, was, I do think the Cavaliers, I think they use restricted free agency the right way. Yeah. Like they run it out. They did it with Sexton. And it's like, man, is Sexton really not going to get a deal? Then he got like four for seven, like something very fair. Ran out of Coro, didn't let him hit. Like we got you for a fair deal because you didn't want to risk that market, buddy boy. So I feel like like they're doing some good things. This is their team. They didn't panic and blow it up. Run it out. Your Detroit Pistons. Oh, baby. Higher. 25.5. What, they went 15 last year? Yes, uh, 14. 14. (laughs) 25. You go from Monty Williams to a, a warm body. I think that's five wins <laughs> right there. Uh, no more James Wiseman. I think that's two wins right there. They added Tobias Harris. Might have lost your two. That's what I mean, yeah. <laughs> now, I do think, like I want I think they have a better coach, but also a motivator. Like JB Bickerstaff again, like, bro, I've been winning games, winning playoffs, and right. I'm just out on the street. I lost uh, to the champions. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? Five, what was I to yeah. do? Yeah. <laughs> right. I took as many games off him as Dallas did. The fuck? Do, how is this my problem? Yeah. So I, Tobias is one of those. He, it's a funny player to laugh at, but Detroit is exactly where he'll probably cook. Like, that's exactly the right level of pressure for Tobias. Absolutely. Harris. So, like, he's a shooter. Beasley's a shooter. Tim Hardaway Jr. can be a shooter, which is more shooting than Kay Cunningham's had in his entire Correct. Life. Like, they got Wendell. I don't even remember. They got Wendell Moore Jr. somehow. I like. I just liked him in the draft, and Minnesota didn't have room, so I like that move. Ron Holland should be good. or I, I think he will be, will be good. I don't know about for this year. And I just I don't think they're set the single season losing streak record bad. No. Anymore. But I did last year. Uh, <laughs> no, you had a uh, six seed last year? What did you... <laughs> I think I was never wrong just early. Right, higher right, right. on these Detroit Pistons. I, I, I am in on K. There's been a lot of talk about like, where he's ranked in the player stuff. But I'm, I've never wavered. Still in on him. Yeah, Cade averaged 22. Uh, damn near 23 last year. Cade's solid. I have no no qualms with Cade. Uh, it's like, I. I still think there's a lot of talent here. I still think... It better be. <laughs> fifth pick for a decade <laughs> straight. <laughs> I still think if I was J.J. Redick, this is the job I would have taken. Um, just because it is a young team. It, no one would have cared if they went out there and won 23 games this year. It's just like, that was an improvement. That's why I would have took Washington, honestly, for that, like, for that exact reason. Sure. Like, yeah, that e- that would have been the cake one. Yep. But I, I like the talent here more than Washington. That's why I, I would have been okay with this. And Detroit, when Detroit's rolling, they got a hell of a crowd behind them. Uh, oh, for sure. Washington the only plays like y'all figure this out while I learn how to coach, and maybe the league will give us Cooper Flay. That's the <laughs> that's the play. Or you could do all play. those things in Detroit. Quiet as it's kept. They'll get the uh, sixth pick though. That's the thing. They'll stink that true. bad and just get the sixth pick again. It's true. Uh, like Duran Duran was not like good last year. Uh, no doubt they set the losing streak uh, record, but it was like defensively took, it seemed like he took steps back, even if his like counting numbers went up, it just was a weird year for him. Beef stew was the same way. Like Isaiah Stewart rules. Uh, I think he was very cool, but he was just worse last year. Now Sasser year two, I was very in on him coming out of Houston in the draft. So I like that. They got vets, which I feel like they didn't have. They didn't have any vets. Here? They didn't have any shooters, and they got both. They're coaching. Uh, it's like got uh, Malik Beasley, basketball, Paul, Tobias Harris. Yeah, B-ball Paul for nothing. Sar Thompson, year two. Jaden Ivey, I imagine, will not be getting uh, <laughs> benched for Killian Hayes for some unknown reason. Maybe. No, they'll find a way. They yeah, also, it, like the Quentin Grimes, they, like – I'd rather have Quentin Grimes than Tim Hardaway Jr., but I think they got three second round picks to take him. So it's like, okay, is there that much difference in between these guys who we we got a hundred wings anywhere? We got a hundred players we want to play anyway. Right. right. Yeah, I 
like you said, they they got Wendell Moore Jr. Like it's like I it, I don't need both of them more or less, mm-hmm. especially if I have Sasser who I'm trying to get minutes for Ivy who I want to get minutes for. Uh, I like I like the the swings they Thompson, took in the draft. Mitchell, yeah, yeah. Like I saw Thompson, Ron Holland, and uh, Bobby Clintman. Like I I really just need one of them to hit more or less. I'll be. I think Thompson's already hit, man. Thompson's good. He just can't shoot. That's all it is. But he is a good. I think he's a good player, helpful player right now. Yeah, I think helpful. I think he's like, going to get to show it more because he won't be like. It's like, yeah, I'm the best shooter out. I shoot 14% from three, and I'm the best shooter out here. Now we at least got a Beasley, at least got a Tobias. See, he literally shot 18.6% last year. It's one, bad business out there. 1.8 of 10. Like, he shouldn't have been taking two a game. That was way too many. That's, that's crazy. No, hey, keep shooting them, my boy. Once you stop, that's when you lose the battle. They've got a rookie from BU. That's crazy. Ooh. Look up, look up Javante McCoy because he looks like someone, but I can't tell who he looks like. He looks like a look like Risa Shea. <laughs> well, he looks like uh, like if this, if, this is evil Zach Risa Shea. Well, it's like if uh, Spencer Dinwiddie and and uh, Trey Young were one person. Like if they if you just smash them together, like Dinwiddie, poor man told. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, this is Zach Richeshay with a woolly willy uh, goatee. <laughs> this is nine NBA players uh, in a blender. This is a, I don't know what the, I want to talk to Javante McCoy. Uh, like he, so he was born in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He played uh, high school basketball in Frisco, Texas, and then went to Exeter Academy in New Hampshire, which is one of the big of prep schools in the country for people listening who don't know. Uh, so Milwaukee to to Frisco to Exeter, New Hampshire is an absurd first eighteen years of life. Uh, sure, uh, now he's in Detroit. He's like, he a twenty six year old rookie. That might have been his first twenty five years of life. Uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Jesus, he's playing high school or college. At least he's playing the pros now, not trying to get his eighth year of eligibility. I do see one, two, three, four, five years at BU. You better oh, that's like these days. He better have the scoring record at BU. Uh, that's he all should. I, yeah. Unbelievable. So, yeah, I'm, again, I, same thing I said for the Hornets, I'll say here. They could win 10 more games, Withers. They're still not hitting this number. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking the lower. I'll go higher, but I still think they're like the 13th seed. It's still bad business. Very. Uh, who is next? Who is next? Uh, Indiana. Indiana, it says here, uh, open the underdog app, enter promo code CHARM, get a hundred, a uh, hundred, get a thousand dollars. A hundred. Uh, it's closer to a hundred thousand than a hundred. Uh, get a thousand dollars in bonus cash when you enter promo code CHARM. And again, it is boost tober. I cannot stress how boost tobery it is. Almost boost Vember. Uh, Stop it. Stop it. 47 and a half for your Indiana Pacers. My Pacers. They went 47 last year, and the numbers, you said 47 and a half. Yeah, they don't see a lot of shifting for a lot of teams. Yeah. I I feel like I'll go higher. Like Halliburton was just hurt the, the entire last half. Of the season, they got not even a half a season to see Ockham. They, I think their question, honestly, like Matherin comes back, but it's did we find something with more like shooting and like ball movement and defense in his space? He more like he can get a bucket. I don't that's know right. if that's what they need. Can he fit into what and when they need a bucket? But outside that, I'm trying to they, yeah, they just. Kind of kept, yeah. They resigned Obi, resigned Siakam, resigned Nimhard, James Johnson. They added James Wiseman. I don't know. About That's what that. I was looking at. I was waiting um, for that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, and they drafted Furphy, who I I fucking can't stand that name. No, I'm 
I'm just in on for, once I found out he grew a foot but couldn't play basketball during COVID. I'm like, this might just be the best basketball player of all time. He's just he's just a late bloomer. We'll find and they got out. him second round, I think, or it must must have been late first. Uh, see. No, thirty five. Yeah, so top, yeah. top of the second. It's a very talented team. Like I do like the Pacers uh, a lot. I'm taking the lower, but I I think it's like 46. I don't. You think said you like them. I do. Why uh, do you hate them? <laughs> I think it's 46. I think you bring up an interesting point with Benny Matz, more of a slasher. Uh, like Ben Shepard, I do think is a good NBA player, mm-hmm. even if he's going to keep shooting 26 percent from three. Uh, I I just expect him to hit it every time he goes up with it, and he just fit well with them. Neesmith has been really good since he got there. Like it, it's weird because it's like they, they're like uh, one year ahead of Houston. Uh, they just did it quieter. Like Houston, it's been like, yeah, we're gonna have the second pick every year, and and we're gonna be in your face about it. And the Pacers didn't do that at all. Uh, like Jarris Walker, they don't tank. They can't tank. <laughs> no, they can't. They have no idea how, and they they just add talent every year. They take other teams' talent that they don't want in, in certain. Uh, respects and then like Jarris Walker I don't know how they hung on to him through the the Siakam trade but it's also like I don't know when he's supposed to play here and that's a good thing for Indiana a bad thing for him personally well it could because it like if he's just not ready this or he might not be ready in October but he might sure. be ready in April so I think like Obi gives them some of that insurance but he's also respectfully not enough to be like man we just we got to play Obi top at 40 minutes a game no, it's not 40, but that's like he – I I would – Obi was coming off the bench for them, you know what I mean? Like he started 28 mm-hmm. games, but he played all 82. He was very much their 6 oh, yeah, after Siakam man. got there, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like they got Siakam, he's going to be playing. They've got Turner, he's going to be playing. Isaiah Jackson's awesome, awesome for them off the bench. Awesome. I, I just don't know – and it's I got a good problem to have. I just don't know when he's supposed to play. You got James Wiseman. Yeah, they do. Um, <laughs> can I make a prediction, Trey? Please. Miles Turner is in the last year of his deal. But he hasn't been extended. They've extended every, like, they gave Nimhart some bread. They gave McConnell some more bread. Siakam got paid, of course. Everybody got paid. They haven't paid Miles Turner yet. Miles Turner makes nineteen million dollars a year. I think this might be some DeAndre Ayton home because they signed him last time. They have enough. I think this this team could trade for anybody. They I think they have the most tradable salaries, like a couple big salaries, sure. a lot of middle, like they uh, Ob or excuse me Miles Turner and Ob or Neesmith or McCon or Matthew or something potentially just because i ain't heard no i ain't even heard the trade talk with miles like normally we hear he's always on the trade block sure haven't heard that normally here like they just resigned all their guys haven't heard that it feels like i don't even know what the market is but also i know he's never hit unrestricted free agency and he's a good no. center so if he's just like no i kind of want to it's like I, if he's like i think we're a 50 win team i think we have another good year i think somebody will pay me I don't think Indiana's willing to roll those dice or pay it, or they would have already. Well, so that's why I think he could be. They fit uh, that apron team. No, I, I just Googled it because I, I remember he signed an extension in like the middle of his most recent trade rumor talks. Like the Pacers just gave him an extension, mm-hmm. but they almost fucked themselves. Uh, so this is from the Indianapolis Star. Turner signed a two year contract extension in January of 23. That also uh, renegotiated the final year of his previous contract. Only contracts that last three years or longer are extendable in the NBA's CBA, mm-hmm. which means he's an automatic, like he can only so he get can't free be extended. Agency. Right. So I think this was a leverage play from him. Like, yeah, I'm kind of going to tank my, like, I, you know how fucking difficult it is to move all these Legos? You will not be trading me to anyone thinking that they can uh, extend me also. Like if someone's trading for me, it will be, I will be hitting free agency regardless. Um, It sat like uh, this is from two weeks ago too. Like this isn't from a while ago. It says like Mm -hmm. they, uh, 
Pacers general manager Chad Buchan, uh, Buchanan indicated at his season opening press conference that they are hopeful they'll be able to keep him and sign a new multi-year deal next summer. Uh, but they do have to wait. <laughs> like they, he will. He so will like be Harden able. Last year, you physically cannot sign this deal. Yes, he will hit free agents. Like he may be the first deal announced uh, at midnight. You know what I mean? Right. But it will but not be. Will it. Yeah, it will not be at any point. He won't get the extended during the year. That's yeah, he okay. physically cannot. Um, so I don't know. Like I, I still think because of that uncertainty, they could. Like I don't think your theory holds any less water. But it, it's interesting. A team that trades for him will also know, like, hey, we have to wait till the day for day free agency opens if we want to keep you. That honestly, that that kind of makes me think he gets moved even more. Like the Pacers are not in the business of losing anything for nothing. No. They can't be. So if this is like a hey, man, we think he might resign, but he also just might get four for two. Like I don't even know what Miles Turner. I, I, like I have no idea what he gets. Somebody just puts that on his doorstep. Here we just lost our starting center for nothing. That's where it's like, I, do we need to trade him for a center who's not as good, but uh, one of the picks we got back for Siakam or something? We can't, we cannot afford to have him walk out the door for nothing. And honestly, Halliburton and Siakam are both at forty-two million starting their deals. I don't, know. or are they? Well, now is this? We were talking about a team yesterday that needs a center, or two days ago that needs a center. Is this, New Orleans Miles? Is, yeah, is this uh, Indiana Brandon? Honest, he just bigger Matherin. We just won without that. If I'm <laughs> <laughs> honestly, if I'm Indiana, nah. uh, I would like. I'd really like Miles Turner on the Pelicans. I'd really like the fit of that. But I would too. I don't hate Ingram here either. Like I, that's a, a a very strong big three. I think they already have a very strong big three in Indiana. Mm. But if they can extend uh, Ingram and keep him there. Don't Ingram, think, again, are they going to, like, is Indiana going to be a tax team? Because, again, if, you go in, if you're if you extending Ingram, that's going to be, we'll call it 40 plus. If they're Siakam keeping, and Halliburton. If they're already talking about keeping Miles Turner, then they're going to be, yeah. And I believe, like, I do believe them. He's played his whole career there. I think they like him. He's going to get a lot in free agency. I do think it's going to be from the Pacers, though. You think you get 40 per, though? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be cheap. What's he make now? Like, I don't think it's going to be 19. He, 19. He's never made 20 million. In the, I think he gets there, but I don't, I'd be surprised if he got, like, past 30. Oh, he made 35 two years ago. That's, yeah, when they gave him that, the jump, the funny numbers bump. Yeah, that was weird. And then 20 last year, 19.9 this year. So, yeah, it would actually be – if they got him, they would have to add someone to like you got to give somebody else. Well, I mean, that's where, again, you have Neesmith, you have Toppin, you have – they have salaries to add up to that. I just – if I'm getting rid of Turner, he, he was the defense, I'm adding Ingram. I don't – I don't like that fit. It's a talent upgrade, but I don't – for the way they're, like, building their team, I don't think I like that. You've got Wiseman. Uh, hey, I don't like that either. <laughs> no, I mean, it's they, – they do only have two true centers, obviously. Isaiah Jack, Jackson plays a lot of center for them off the bench. Um, but, yeah, it's it, it's interesting. It's inter- yeah, like, I, I do can, think they I keep Turner, but I do think they're a tax team. They, I mean, they better like you at this point. Oh yeah, they, they signed all those, like every deal they the like Nee Smith McConnell, all those were like pretty fair. I, so they're looking down. Oh, for sure. Like a couple years in advance, that's where I wonder: Is Miles Turner? Is he the one we can't afford to see his jump go from nineteen to thirty? We'll call it thirty. That is also where unless we make some other moves. What's do they extend Nemhard? Did you just say that? Uh, yes. yeah, Nemhard. Yeah. It doesn't start till next year, but he goes from two to 18, 19, 21. That's where I do think you can take a walker and attach. And you have to really do it that way, but you could trade a uh, Nee Smith elsewhere, you could trade a McConnell elsewhere. Mm. Like, it's like, do I like all these bench players obviously help us? You know what I mean? I would rather have Miles Turner than 
a deeper bench, especially since we've proven we can hit at the end of the first round, the beginning of the second round, stuff like that. Yeah, I get, but it's also, I like, I, it gives them some flexibility in a good way. It's like, do we want to go oh, yeah. two or three for one? Or do we want to just ride it out? Like, we feel like, like right now, Jairus Walker's our third stream. We feel good about our depth. We, but we could make a trade or two that bumped him up, bumped him, uh, moved. Again, Mathurin, like, if, if other teams oh, value yeah. him, I think they have, of the three picks for Siakam, they've already conveyed two. So I think they have other first round picks to trade. So they could get. Yeah, I think they're in as good of a spot as any like non Boston team in the league, honestly. And Spurs. I'll put the Spurs up there too because they have Wemby, and that's as great of a spot as you can be. Plenty, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Pacers, they're going to feel like like the Cavs, like the Knicks, probably like the Magic and Bucks. Like, yeah, we're the second best team in the East. The Pacers that, probably it, that's going to be that glut. Yeah. <laughs> the Pacers feel like they have the most valid claim to that, probably. I mean, coming off the conference finals, they would not be wrong. <laughs> Held leads in several of those games. Um, hey, other teams did not. So for sure, no doubt, they were. I mean, really good. And but was I am like, forty-seven and a half. Forty-seven and a half. I am interested to see. Like Nemhard was so good without uh, Halliburton out there. Obviously, he was still good with him out there too. He was terrorizing the Knicks. Um, but I do, I do wonder how that looks over a full season. Better look good. They just gave their boy sixty. <laughs> but I'm taking, I'm taking the lower. I think it's like forty five. So nothing. Oh, higher. I, I can see them pushing for fifty, but I they like forty eight and thirty four. Feels like the forty nine. Yeah. Oh, if if they want fifty, if they were the two seed, if they were the one seed, none of that would really surprise me. I think they're in that that glut. Yeah. The Miami Heat, 43 and a half. Let's, did Miami figure it out? Like, hey, if we don't if we don't have to do anything, we'll still be in the playoff. Like, that's just how the West is. <laughs> that's just how they're configured. They won 46 last year. As bad as it felt, they still won 46 games. Mm-hmm. Butler and Harold missed 62 games. And they still won 46 games. Full year of Terry. Yoke is uh, up Yoke to like Vick. 240. Kalel Ware is knocking down Jays. It's fucking Ware. Uh, <laughs> Bam. The like 52nd best team uh, player in the league is here. Ish. Yeah. Alec Burks is here. Didn't know that. He seems he. I'm gonna like take they the lost higher. Caleb Martin for nothing, but again, I like him as a player. But it's like, can we, can we find another Caleb Martin? Can we manufacture another Caleb Martin? That's probably honestly just Terry. I think, but him like uh, Jovic and like Hakez, another year. It's like we think we can just cobble together those right points. Yeah, like I still like those teams like top six. Everything after that. They'll fight like there's someone who's not even on the roster I'm looking at right now that'll contribute to this team this year. Mm-hmm. I got they got Nas Little for nothing, a guy I've just always been interested in. So it's like, yeah, maybe this is Nas Little, solid eighth man. Right. Season. Uh, yeah, I'm going higher too. It's also it's time for Butler to get paid. So this is why it's like he's generally been might be why we go low. <laughs> yeah, well, I think this is the year he plays 65 games. Like he hadn't in the past. He'll tank the All Star game, of course, but mm-hmm. I do think he and also with the way contracts are now, after this year, it might be time for Harrow to like renegotiate. And I feel like he just signed his deal, but it's just it's yeah. just weird that way. So there, I think that he it's interesting if they do keep Butler or pivot because if you just like you just re-signed Bam, if Butler walked or you signed and traded him, you're a Harrow away from. A lot of cap space, right? And Harrow would be part of that. I think they're up, like up, pretty good on pit or back to owning their own picks. I don't know what else they owe in the future. So it's like, okay, if they know Butler's not signed or a piece, they just don't want to sign and trade Butler, move Harrow for something, and then 
LeBron back to Miami. Wow. <laughs> and Terry, he's got two years left, and that includes this year. So it's twenty four and twenty. It's twenty five and twenty seven, rounding up. Okay. Uh, so that's not an insignificant amount coming off the books, or a, a guy to play with. Uh, twenty seven this off season if you're shopping mm-hmm. around. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go higher. Yeah, I just don't know where they lost three games. Unless, unless they just think Jimmy's going to be such a problem that that's going to cause an issue. But I don't see that really. <laughs> Pat Riley would encourage that. Please, that's what I mean. He is. I give you the deal if you cause a problem. He's always been a problem. That's not new. Uh, that's what I'm looking at. Martin play. Yeah, 64 games, 27 minutes per. He was 10 points, four boards, and shot 35% from three. So it's like, yeah, you kind of didn't replace those minutes to a man. But, yeah, if they feel good about Jovic, about a healthy Terry, about Hakez, about where, who maybe he just starts from day one at the five. Yeah, hop higher. That, like, that's – Feels so low, I feel like I should pivot to lower. Like they know, they know people Something are taking don't. that higher. Yeah, they know that's gonna. They're a thirty-three win team. <laughs> I, I think they, the Heat don't play for the reg. Like I don't think they're good enough to get that cute, but they for sure don't play for the regular season. No, no. Oh yeah, no. I feel like this is a higher. The Milwaukee Bucks, fifty and a half. Forty nine last year. I think I'll go higher. It's a full season of Doc Rivers, who I've had people point out. He's taking a timeout during a timeout. Uh, <laughs> which is- That's what I was like. I know his ass ain't calling nothing. I believe a technical foul. Uh, <laughs> it can't be legit. I uh, am not, relatively speaking, high on this team. Like they're Shocking. they're gonna they're gonna win forty six, forty seven games. May win fifty. Giannis hasn't been at the healthiest version. Of Giannis. He, he's he's sneaky. Got old on us, uh, which I don't care for. He's missed like two, he is what, I think two of the last three postseasons. Like it's yeah. I mean, he played seventy three games last year. Still, you know, he averaged thirty. <laughs> like he's Regular. he's still Giannis when he's out there. I I don't know. Like the Doc thing, definitely. I don't doesn't doesn't move me. The Dame, like I've seen people be like, oh, Dame looks awesome in the preseason. He looked awesome like the first week last year too. I, now, I do think full season of a. I, like, he was going through the uh, divorce as he got sure. traded. I do think like a full year of Dame. That's where I'm most high. Middleton, I just don't know anymore. No, a full year of I, they hated Adrian <laughs> Griffin, but we're still winning <laughs> three of every four games. I was like, can we can we just go back to hating that guy a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the team unity we needed? I, I mean, it's 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 a Giannis play. That's all it is. It is, but it's also like Brooke Lopez went from first team all defense, second in deploy to nothing last year. Like he he took a step. Like he looked yeah, their no team defense was ass because for sure. But he Adrian Griffin had him switching. Like he shot worse from three. It was it was on slightly more attempts than he was by a percentage. Thirty five. He went 36? from thirty seven to thirty six. Like it wasn't. Oh my god! I mean, how age? How old is he? That's what I mean. He's he's going to be yeah. thirty six this year. Like he, he's had this reinvention in the second half of his career. Like the Lakers uh, said, they were all set with him. That was like seven years ago at this point. Uh, Twenty seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> yeah, they were just like we're we're fine here, and they could have used him at that mm-hmm. point of their uh, transition. I don't know. I like it. When I when I look at Bucks fans and how they talk about their team, they hate Bobby Portis now. Like this is a man who uh, they would have killed for uh, weeks after they won that championship. Like that high didn't didn't wear off for a while. 
They got DeLon Wright, who I don't know why he's on a new team every year. DeLon Wright's very good. I don't know. Gary I'm Trent not... for nothing, which I like. Torian like they DeLon Wright, Gary Trent, and Torian Prince for Pat Be- or Pat Bev and Malik Beasley. I think that's an upgrade, even if not a huge one. No Thanasis. I think that's an upgrade. Ooh. Might be why Giannis I think, goes down. <laughs> I think he's motivated. I think he's motivated. He said, I have to get so good. Oh, you want to sign my brother because I'm not good enough? I said, no, you're not, Giannis. <laughs> uh, they need one of the young guys. Hits too strong of a word. Contribute. Like a Bochamp, mm. uh, Chris Livingston, who forced his way here. Like they need some one of these young guys to do AJ Johnson, somebody to do something. AJ Johnson's uh, probably not going to be this year. He's too small. Uh, they was like, <laughs> hey, dead ass Bronny, a better prospect this year than AJ Johnson, and it's probably not crazy. It probably isn't, but I do think throughout the regular season they're going to need one of those guys to do something. Um, AJ Green, somebody. So I'm, I think it's a high forties win team. They may even be fifty on the dot. I don't think they went 51 games. So, yeah, 50 and a half, you said? Yeah. I, no, I'll go high. But again, it's like postseason between Gian, I think it. I think they go higher, and that might, like, that's what's knocking Giannis out of this postseason. Like, he's 29, but he a running back 29, man. Like, that's a 350 carries a season, 29. Mm-hmm. On Giannis, so I now I'll go. It's it's faith in him. That's really the only thing at the end of a full season of he and Dame. But I'll go higher. I don't feel good about it at all. Turns turns thirty in December. That Giannis does. I'm glad I'm making this pick now. Then getting older every day. The New York Carl Anthony Towns is fifty three and a half. Lower. That's a big number. That's a big number. That's a real big uh, number. They were fifty and thirty-two last year. You said fifty-two and a half. Fifty-three and a half. 53. Nice try, so pal. Can, can they win fifty-four? <laughs> uh, I, they had a lot of moving and shaking. Ton, and it's for a lot of players who miss some time uh mm. like mitch rob they'll get back who will be back when he gets back uh mm. towns has missed a lot of games after being like the model of showing up and playing 82 every year last two three years he's been missing more and more time uh, bridges four or five man like it's oh he another sure. one i think is cat 30 if cat's not 30 he probably next year they're getting old gotta be getting there. it's crazy no he's 28 Turns okay. twenty nine in November, so he's he's still a young young. So 30, yeah, thirty next year. He's, he's an old man. Uh, even Brunt, how old's Brunson? He's twenty eight. Okay, so they got a lot. Same, of yeah, see, I think they're all the same. Yeah, uh, Bridges model of consistency. He's he, Mister Durability. Yeah, TJ Warren is not, though he does not factor in much here. He OG is going to miss some games. This is what he does. Played fifty last year, sixty seven, forty eight. Hard because there's gonna be a lot of the rookies or the the young guys, which not necessarily a bad thing. Right. Tibbs will be pushing for regular season when like by all means. That's all he knows. But, yeah, but ah, 53 and a half. Like that's just like you think things click immediately and everybody in their top nine plays sixty eight games. Which is possible. I just no. I would no. I go low. It feels like it's like five percent possible. Yeah, it's doable. Like it's not asking. And if it happens, it's like yeah, no. The the roadmap was there. Like Towns just hits it from the jump. That the, the tray out fuels them, or nobody really cares. And like McBride's ready for a bigger role. Hart's ready. Ananobi is balling while he's healthy. Bridges is cooking. The avenue is there. I just again, you a championship team now, and if you win at fifty plus, I. I that's like a good team that's played some a season or two together at least. Like I don't know if the I, we're both high on the Cavs. I don't know if the Cavaliers went fifty four games this year, and they've been right. playing together for some years. So I'm now nah, I'll, I'll go lower, but this is gonna be a good team. 
Yeah, I mean, last year, the Knicks were the only other team other than the Celtics to hit 50 wins. And just based on the projections we've been reading, there's a lot of high 48s. The Bucks were in the 50s. They're in the 50s. Are we going to get four 50-plus win teams? Obviously, you'd think the bottom is going to be so low, but you're only playing those teams but a handful of times. That's three, four wins, assuming you don't trick a couple of those off because it's like, ah, back-to-back, we're in Charlotte. We don't really give a fuck. Like, you will – you're not going perfect against those teams either, as bad as they are. Those teams aren't going to go 0 and 82. They're going to have to get their wins somewhere. The Nets might, man. I looked at their <laughs> uh, Wouldn't hate it. It would be very funny. Um, yeah, I, it's a lower for me, but it's like, I don't think it's like a 42 win team. You know what I mean? I think it's like a 50 nah, win team. Yeah. I think they hit 50. I 50 think if more. everything goes wrong, they could still win 42. Right. Yeah. Like I, it's a comfortably a playoff team. Again, like I said, one of the teams that has a case, I know they're uh, the portion of the fan base thinks they're the best team in the East. Um, but they have a, a claim. They've thought that for second. 20 years. That's, that's just what they think. <laughs> they haven't. That's why I like Knicks fans. When they're down, they agree with you. They're like, no, we are the worst. Like They, they almost go too far with how, how down they get. Um, but I'm happy for that. Like, I'm, I'm happy Celtics-Knicks ring night is going to be. Like, I wouldn't be shocked if the Knicks won that game. I wouldn't be shocked at all. Uh, they won't, but I wouldn't be shocked. Hey. <laughs> that. They just – I feel like they're firmly playing for playoffs. Like, they want to be figuring it out. And I don't know if Tibbs agrees with that. but That's I what I mean. <laughs> I, it ain't going to be his – like, hey, Ananobi's out two months, bro. Like, I don't – it's not your call. So, you want, sl- uh, you want slightly lower, right? Uh, yeah, I'll go lower by a hair. The Orlando Magic. Higher. 47 and a half. Two seed magic. Two seed magic because they get to beat up on the Wizards and the Hornets and the Hawks and the Heat. We don't take the regular season seriously. That's why I've got them in the two seed. But I feel like the Heat will take those games seriously against the Magic. They can take them seriously and still go 500 on them. (laughs) That's what put – because, again, like the Cavs going to be playing like the Pacers, the Bucks, the – Pistons, like juggernauts. The Magic, a few easy division wins. They're really, uh, their move was getting Joe Ingles out and turning him into KCP. Yeah. Which, upgrade, however you feel about the decline KCP is, hey, he better than Joe Ingles right now. I think they figured out their like center rotation. It was kind of like, well, one of these guys is hurt. Now what? Now they've just got, they just re signed Wendell. Wendell got a bag. Uh, bigger Wagner and Badazzi. So they have their center rotation. I think they're good with like whatever Isaac gives us, we're good. If he gives us 20 minutes a game for 20 games, we're good defensively. This is a t- like young, but it's been together a couple years. Like same coach, same couple star players. Continuity. Cotton, I think they figured out the guard rotation. Like Fultz seemed to be the one sacrifice, but it's like we've got like it's just going to be Suggs and Cole Anthony off the bench these are our guards now well it's also they took Anthony Black high last year was he the eighth pick six I believe six is yeah, six pick uh didn't play a lot Howard was 11 like they have two lottery picks right. that again I don't know how much they I think Black could I, but I don't know how much steady run both of those either of those guys get this year Jared Culver's here good to see him back um Tristan De Silva, people were very high on. I admittedly did not watch a lot of Colorado basketball last year, uh, but people were very high on him and liked this pick for them. So we'll see. Uh, Sneaky, I mean, well, he stinks. So you hear him talk. Uh, Jonathan Isaac was good for them off the bench last year. Mm-hmm. Um, he was, I think he was like defensively, he was great. Oh, I mean, he's monster defensively. This is a guy again when coming out was getting Kawhi Leonard comparisons, and they weren't insane. Um, that's what, and I he, think like for a couple of years, they were like, Man, if he's just healthy, if he's just healthy, and the last couple, I think they figured out it's like we're a good defense regard. If he's there, he makes us a next level, right? Defense, but we've kind of got it figured out. We don't need him. And Franz last year. He got his extension. He was still good, but his shooting fell off a cliff, and I don't think that's him. I think the shooting 
will return to like he was 30 he came in the league 35 percent 36 percent year two 28 percent year three like i mm. don't really think that's him i think he's that league like if he's league average because even the attempts didn't skyrocket it was 3.4 4.5 yeah. 4.6 like i don't I, I don't think it was a usage thing i think he just was off last year it happens i don't it was like i, I think this is a year he might i think he shoots like 41 percent this year not that he's that good of a shooter but just balance of numbers sure like he's on the whole he's closer but it's like nah i shot 28 last year next year i'm not gonna be able to miss and then the year after that when we think he's a great shooter he goes back to 36. paolo if you think he's the two seed what do you think his mvp odds look like not like the actual odds but your take Mm. it i don't know i feel like he kind of gets not it slept on but like glossed over for a number one pick that hit hit well like it's gotten better like he's this is year four three Three. yeah (laughs) that's there's been an insane influx of young young talent to the nba and too much you're you're saying this number one overall pick uh hasn't gotten that he's a jordan brand guy you know what i mean like they flew him all out to shanghai he was he was there on that on the top of that building with luca and tatum and and a couple other guys who's uh, zion Hmm. people just don't really care uh average 21.3 for his career came in a league averaging 20 on the dot 22.6 year two minutes went up i feel like his defense has been solid not like outstanding but solid his threes got better Went from 30% to 34% uh, uh, on a slight uptick in attempts. Shots, 18 shots last year. He's been uh, played 152 games so far through two years. Like I, That's enough. Like Franz, again, knock on wood. These They're young and pretty durable. Like they just mm-hmm. play regular season games. You'll rack up a couple wins that way. And And the biggest green flag I heard for the Orlando Magic last year they started asking if they were redundant. The national Ooh. media said, I, "The national media, like I've, they, they, they were like, I, these, why would you want two six eight six nine wings who can put the ball on the floor, get to the rim, shoot it a little bit? Why, why would you want something like that, Withers? I wouldn't, not for me." We ain't even mentioned Jalen Suggs. No, I'm going higher. Suggs is awesome. I'm, I was. I wanted him bad last year because it seemed like after year two, he he could be had in a trade. And then, yeah, second team all defense. Uh, came in 10th in deep boy. Uh, got most improved votes. Suggs is unbelievable. He shot 40% from three. I don't know how real that number is, but it's, I think he's a league average three point shoot. Like, I think, I think it's good enough. Five. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and yeah, he, him, KCP. Gary Harris, it's it's three versions of, of each other at different points of their career. Yeah, I'm, I'm in on them. Um, I'm trying to balance out. Like, I have everything, I've every pick I've had so far. I've got a lot of hires in the West, and I've got, that's eh, about 50-50 in the East so far. It's 47 and a half. Again, they won 47 last year. And went to game seven, first round. That's what I was looking at. In the three years Jamal Mosley has been there, their defense has been 17th, 16th, 2nd. Right. Their offense has been 30th, 26th, 22nd. I wonder, is this the year offense takes a leap? Not to 2nd, but can sure. it go from 22nd to 14th? If, it, if yeah. it goes 14th and they're still playing top five defense, that's a good team. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's Minnesota last year. You know what I mean? Like, they're... Their number last year, because I know I had a higher on them last year. I was in on them, and last year it was 37 and a half. They cleared that uh, by – they had 10 more wins than 37. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know that if they take another jump – like, they could be a better team and still win 47 games, if that makes sense. No, for sure. I feel like the the case for them really, really hitting is if Anthony Black and Jet – uh, Howard are just re- like no these sure. we need minutes right now and De, uh De Silva if all those guys are like nope we're rotation ready right now cuz Fultz is out Okiki's out if those guys are ready to step in as I think both those guys were top 12 picks yeah oh yeah 
It's like, yeah, no, they could. Re- if Wendell stays healthy this year, like they could take that leap. But forty-seven, yes, forty-seven and a half, and they won forty-seven. Yeah, I'll go higher. Yeah, I just really like the team. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep him at that forty-six, forty-seven. But I, I am not like they. If if they're in the Eastern Conference Finals, I'd be zero percent shocked. And they got a good song, man. I think that's gonna great song. Me. Great song. The vibes couldn't be higher in Orlando. Like they really couldn't. Uh, yeah, I feel like, like they're also slick. If they wanted to, could they get in the trade? Like, I don't, I just, I'm trying to, I don't know what sure. picks they're out of. You know what I'm saying? So if they wanted to, just one of those, oh, this person's available? Oh, okay. Uh, I was going to say, like, what picks could like they Like Garland. Be? What if Garland did just become available? It's like, oh, we could get a point guard in here? Oh, okay. That's, that's I, interesting. Listen, again, eighth overall pick didn't really play last year. He played in 69 games. He started 33. Uh, but his minutes were, he was playing 16, Black. 17 minutes a night. Yeah. Anthony Black. Like, I, I think they yeah, just, maybe it's just him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, if he's, if he hits, like, this was, I believe, like, one of the top 10 guys in his recruiting class. Like, I, he, oh, yeah. He was five star Arkansas, all, like, has the pedigree. That's why, like, again, if they, 14, like, Caleb Houston as well. I know it was a second round pick, but. If all these young guys, I think he had a better year the year before, but it's like, okay, we kind of have some depth now. We're kind of, again, we're ready for if Wendell misses some games, if Isaac misses some games, if Suggs, I think I think it was just his rookie year injuries. If, they, if these guys miss a couple games, we're we're good. I'm just looking at, he was 14th in his recruiting class. Um, okay. 11th was Brandon Miller. 12th was Cam Whitmore. 13th was Chris Livingston. Who was number one in that class? Uh, guy we talked about briefly, uh, Derek, uh, Derek Whitehead. Mm. Two was Lively. Heard of him. Okay. Three so was top Nick- 30. Li- hey, people are in on Lively this year, man. We already talked West, but the people are in on Lively. Three was Nick Smith. <laughs> Four was Kyle He's Filipowski. The one in the top five from Marcus. Okay. Yeah, no, because I remember they got both of them. Same class. Yeah. Um, Dylan Mitchell, the only guy so far not to be drafted, uh, is at Texas. Kalel Ware, six. Keontae George, seven. Jarris Walker, eight. Cason Wallace tied for eighth. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> Amari Bailey, 10th. Brandon Miller, like I said. Uh, Anthony Black was tied with Julian Phillips at 14. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> they had guys tied and then Grady Dick, Jordan Walsh. So yeah, Arkansas had three top 17 guys. Yeah, they got crazy. another three top 17 guys this year. I fear. <sighs> Jalen hood. Shafino was 20th. Jet Howard 34th. I'm obviously not going through the whole thing, but, and then Klingon was 37th. So looking like a wow. very, very solid high school class. You get guys like Leonard Miller, Noah Clowney, who went, who were in the the seventies, there, very solid class. So yeah, Anthony Black taking a step this year would that would make them a higher and make me look really fucking stupid if he takes the jump like Jalen Suggs took last year. Uh, that would be horrifying. It's on the table. It's a higher for me. Two seed Magic. I don't hate the two seed Golly. Like I think they're in that glut, like we were saying. I think it's about four teams who all feel like they're if not the best, the second best team in the East. And I think these are the youngest legs, the most non-DNP load management <laughs> legs of the glut. I don't hate it. I mean, Cleveland's sneaky young for, for how yeah, long team they about. felt they like. They, and, Indy, too. Like, Andrew, Boston's Andrew. young. Like it's a, <laughs> The East is young and horrifying. Um, not young, not horrifying. The Philadelphia 76ers. What's the they're just because I know that they were what seven seed last year? So what's their number? Their, their number is I mean, I was gonna take the lower <laughs> regardless. Uh, we know. They won forty seven games last year. Their number is fifty and a half. How long Paul George at with that uh, suspect injury? Probably forever. Like, I, that's what I mean. Like, I, he's going to come back and then play for Nick Nurse. Like, for, for all the shit Tibbs gets, 
Nick Nurse is the same picture. It's the same picture. Nah, Nick Nurse won championships. Disrespectful. He, he won one, uh, and I would argue Tibbs did two, uh, despite the fact that someone mm. else was named head coach. Mm. This team's got Kyle Lowry on it. Lower. Hey, what do you say fuck him for? Uh, Stinks, that's added, why. Hey, come on. <laughs> added Drummond, Paul George, Eric Gordon, Reggie Jackson, Caleb Martin, Yabuselli. They did. Jared McCain and Adam Bona, who've been getting getting good reviews. Batum is out. Bomba and Hield are out. That might be uh, addition by yeah, subtraction. For Melton sure. didn't play. Campaign and B-Ball Paul's out. I do I think McCain. Know. McCain, I, I'm high on McCain. I mm-hmm. when when he was originally uh, drafted by Miami on Twitter, that pissed me off. And then it was Kalel. It was fucking where it was Kalel where. Mm. And then uh, when the 76 was got McCain, I said, well, that isn't much better. Uh, in my eyes, uh, McCain's going to be good here. Definitely good. Uh, and I Maxie, think he's going to get minutes early because of these, these old fogies he play with. Maxie's going like at Maxie's 24 this year. Uh, geez, every NBA player turn has a birthday in the next two months. Mm. <laughs> Maxi is going to keep being really good. Like he averaged 26 last year, uh, most improved, which was disrespectfully averaged 20 the year before. Like it, it didn't come out of nowhere. Hey, it's hard to get from 20 to 26. No doubt. Uh, but Maxi's really good. KJ Martin didn't play for them last year. Like it was, it was very strange. I thought they should have used him more. Maybe they will this year. Joel Embiid's here for sure. I'll, Played his fewest games since his rookie year. So even for a guy that's injury prone, he was still in the 30s when he's normal. He's been 69, 66, 68, 51, 51, 64, 63, 31. So even acknowledging he's, uh, you can punt uh, 20 games minimum. Like there's, he's not going to play back to backs probably ever again, which is. That's the first time I was like, okay, y'all might be finally serious about this. <laughs> if y'all just conceding all NBA, if y'all conceding back to backs, conceding, trying to do regular season stuff, if y'all can stagger his fifty with PG's fifty with the Knights, McCain goes off with Maxi. I st- I don't know. The bench, I like some. Like I like getting Martin. I think Drummond's good. Embiid insurance. I just I worry about the size outside of Embiid. That's a tiny team. It is. It is weirdly a small team. Uh, it's like, like yeah, K- it's Embiid K- of course, but KJ Martin is Andrew a power Martin. forward. Like you know what I mean? Like that's if they play him, yeah, sure. Uh, Caleb Martin kind of is too. Well, he wasn't Miami at first. I, was, I think that's what he's. I think he's probably just their starting. Which I get that like all shooters ran Embiid. I get it, but it's gonna be some times where you need a rebound, man, or you need a little I, bit of muscle, and I Embiid is, can only do so much. Caleb Martin's obviously terrorized the Celtics. I don't think it's going to work in Philly. Like, I, I do think that's a Miami only thing. Like, I, it's not, he could have went anywhere. I would have said this is not a Philly yeah. thing. Like, I do think it it's only Miami works yeah. in Miami. Like, I, his, he's, he has a twin brother. He doesn't have a brother who's in the league. It's a twin brother. He's been on the Hornets forever. It doesn't matter there. It just doesn't, it doesn't work. It's the same DNA, same everything. I'm shocked Miami hasn't traded for him yet. Like, that. <laughs> Nah, that's what Kaseko said. If the juice ain't real, why my, <laughs> why my brother ass cheeks? <laughs> Riddle me that. And PG already having like a weird injury. It wasn't even like a rolled ankle. They're like, like he's got a deep bone bruise. Um, who knows? It, uh, I saw a hyperextension. It's like neither one of us are going to play back to back. It's like, do you just stagger those guys? Now? Like, you hope PG plays like day one or first game. Hoping B pays night two. Switch it up a little bit. Yeah, it's, there's a I lot think that'd of be best for them regular season wise, but not best for them playoff wise. I don't know. Like you got to have some type of chemistry to maintain, right? I just don't see fifty. I don't think they should be aiming for fifty either. They yeah, they should be aiming for like April. That which again, once I heard the Embiid no back to back, and if they're gonna play the Paul George stuff, like play it safe, let him like really heal because he's I think he was durable last year, but. He's had his issues too. Let the young guys rock. I feel like that's where they could cook. And the 
was it forty something games without Embiid? It really was Maxi and nobody. It'll be a couple games where I think like Maxi and McCain will get you a win. A oh, game where sure. Drummond where Drummond grabs twenty two rebounds and you get a win. So I I can't get to fifty though. That is that's a high number. Um, I'll go lower, but no, nah, they they sight set on April, not anything in these first eighty two. I do like that. Even you're saying April and not May or June. I, I can't um, give them too much now. <laughs> like in my mind, like the playoff starts with like middle of April. That's when yeah. y'all need to be healthy. Yeah, it's it's a lower, but and they won 47 last year. That 46, 45, 48, somewhere in there. I'm looking the two year 54, 51, and 49. The three previous years. So, I don't know. I might be talking myself into it, Mick. Because McCain don't. hot, he going to play 52 minutes, man. Then Again, the, <laughs> Nick Nurse gives and he take it the way. For sure. Again, very high on McCain. He is still, like, he'll have, he'll hit a rookie wall. He'll go through growing pains. New trends will come out on TikTok. <laughs> like, he's got a lot on his plate. I'll go higher for this reason only. For th- and I swear to God, for this reason only. They have a player development coach named Fab Flornoy. <laughs> That's for sure. Like my name was somebody, hey, hey, what are you doing in here? Who are you? I'm Fab Flournoy. Is it Flab Assistant or Fab? Player- <laughs> Fab. Former basketball player, birth name fabulous. I, I couldn't to... be. I couldn't be more in on these six. My sixes. Uh, fabulous Flournoy, and he's an MBE, make most excellent order of the British Empire. This is how Daryl Morey wins. It's like uh, I. Uh, it's like when I have. Uh, I mean, my, my mind immediately goes to when I hear floor uh, <laughs> It's like when Dave tried to sneak into the Super Bowl and had the, the fake ID. <laughs> that was the like, fake name he gave? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fake mustache, yeah. Right, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, floor Fabulous floor noise. Most... <laughs> Most excellent order of the British Empire. I I think he's taking Nurse's job by Thanksgiving. <laughs> to be honest, I think your nurse issues will, will go unfounded. I also didn't realize the British Basketball League was just called the BBL. Very funny. Uh, <laughs> like I'm reading his I'm reading his Wikipedia. It says five time BBL Coach of the Year. It's like hey, and he is. Uh, <laughs> Fab floor. No, it, it, it's a higher for me. Honest to God, for, I was scrolling down the basketball reference and saw that. I said, like, I can't pick against double F. <laughs> Won't do it. I'm sure. Can I also put a trade or future signing? PJ Tucker will play for this team this year. Sure. He's I already on the outs with the Clippers. Uh, they're d- negotiating things. But that's KJ. They're about to just say, never mind, man. It's about to be KJ back to LA. Right. And then PJ Tucker to Philly. I think the same month, like 10 million to 8 million, something like that. Fab Flournoy. Fabulous. He said, please. Fabulous. That's my father. I'm Fab, MBE, most excellent order of the British. I mean, he had to have been active during, uh, like, he was from uh, New York. He had to have been active when FABO was, was. Uh, talk of the town. That's so why he said, man, he's spelling it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to Fab the other day. Came on Shuffle, Breathe. Might be my favorite, like, instrumental of all time. Like, Breathe goes Great crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it, goes on, it goes stupid. And I was like, why do I remember all these words? And it's like, well, it was... I was You'll never forget them. Yeah. No, ever. You um, couldn't walk a mile in the pair he wears. Stop it. He's getting better year by year. Uh, anyway, that's right. Uh, but I was trying to think of his NBA comp uh, as one does. Is it just Fab Mello? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about dumb dumb? Not it's the right. PBL comp. <laughs> NBA. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Is it just Mello? I, it feels different to me in a way because the way a lot of people respect Mel, like real Hooper, they respect fat, like real rapper, but it's a lot right. of people that maybe it's the same reason because people don't like <laughs> Mellow for that reason. It's like, I don't like right. Mello. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's bars at the ready. <laughs> it's real rap. I got six real for anybody. Um, it's just disrespectful because I like Mellow a lot more. That's why it hurts my feelings personally. I it's weird because I would also agree that I like Mellow more, but I also like I I don't go out of my way to listen to Fab ever. Like I said, he came up on Shuffle, but I also know a lot of dudes, especially up here. Fab definitely gets more respect in the Northeast than uh, oh, the rest of the country. Um, like I, I'm trying to think of a uh, rapper to rapper comparison. I don't want to get shot. Honestly, you know who I think it is? <laughs> this, I just like this person more. Is it Jadakiss? I where I think the difference is like when Mello came into the league and when Fab first hit the scene. That's where I think the comparison is really, really works. Because when Fab first came out, it was just like, oh, this is next up. Like he's like genuinely y'all the can't deny it, the, right? I believe was so. That, yeah, that was his with first, Nate Dog on the with hook. Nate Dog, yeah, I think that was. His, uh, his... But I mean, it was hit after hit after hit, and he was like 18. You know what I mean? It was, it very much was like mellow at Q's. Uh, and then at Denver, it was. Do you know when Ghetto Fabulous came out? Was it 9 11, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Blueprints took his thunder. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, it was a huge day for New York. Uh, <laughs> I, don't th- I knew it was one of those like more albums than Blue. Two Ray albums, two think, buildings. Yeah. Whether it was a big day. <laughs> I don't think I ever realized that was one of the ones. Oh yeah, that, uh, that's mm-hmm. tough. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> Funk Flex couldn't believe it. He's like, I don't know if I can drop bombs today. It's a tough day. Like, all these okay, records gonna, from here. But, yeah. <laughs> That's what the, that's what they want. They want me to not drop these bombs. We can't let them win. They're like, no, we, that's exactly right. We do not want you to drop any more bombs. Yeah, I don't think uh, I ever realized that. Good grief. Oh, yeah. Again, uh, <laughs> people had uh, mixed feelings, and that Fab, I'm sure, he had a great record release party the night before. He couldn't couldn't mm-hmm. believe it. You know, man, the streets are going to go crazy when they hear this. He was at the McMahon's birthday party. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got something I want y'all to hear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, was that Swiss Beast produced the whole album? Hell no. Who was it? Oh, why am I? Who was it? On a, let's see. Can't deny it was Rick Rock, which I did not know. I didn't. Okay. I knew it was no Swiss beat. Way too many good beats on that. Uh, no, I know they weren't his type of beats, but for some reason, I feel like I, I remember him being like, "He's up next." I feel like I thought he was attaching himself to him early. Uh, nah, he's thank, he's not on the debut album at all. Thankfully, okay. So he got I know some he, clues, he, some Neptune, some Rockwater, some Timberland, some Just Blaze, some DJ MV. Yeah, just for a debut album. Like that's this. even crazier. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. <laughs> and a Nate Dog hook, a jagged right. head hook, and a and a jaw rule hook. Yeah, fat, that I I think it's a perfect comparison. Obviously, huge might be onto something. Loved in New York. Uh, I would say they're going to yell at you and say it was actually a uh, freaky tie or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you missed it, dummy. And the hat collection for both goes crazy. Uh, <laughs> they must have the same haberdasher. I, like they, they <laughs> the fab went too far. Sometimes, yeah, went too far. Yeah, several times. Mello learned his lesson. Fab, mm. Mm-hmm. but yeah, I do. That was like I was just listening to the breathe. I was like, this is Carmelo Anthony. This is the same guy. I'm looking at the same picture. Mustache havers. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, is, it is pure buckets because like. Cassidy was hitting it around the same time and like punchlines were big. I feel like uh, Grandpa Simpson around the lemon tree. Punchlines were huge in the early, right. early aughts, uh, children. Uh, no, punchline know. rapper, Lloyd Banks. Uh, punchline rappers had it, it was their time to shine. You better Buck- have some punchlines. Yeah. Buckets were being had all over the place. So that's where it's like Jadik is also a, a punchline legend for sure. But I feel like since he came up in the 90s, 
Well, he we know. got introduced to him via group, so I think that's also true. that. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know what his like. Uh, uh, he's like the, the microwave. Like he can come off the bench and give you sixteen. Well, like I, he's Lou Will. I think the Jada Kiss is now me thinking. I, I, every time I see something about Jada Kiss, I find out something I just did not know about him. <laughs> yeah. I think that's me and Mel. I hear him say something. It's like, man, that was a great point Melo made. Like he's really good at this shit. Uh, and you're like, yeah, no, Jada Kiss is you no, know, no. That's him up on the Empire State Building doing a sideway uh, pull ups. <laughs> Like he had a tornado or something. I didn't know he could do it. Full head of hair. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know he could do that. Mellow, a Colorado football fan? Wow. Uh, I did see him at the game, and I was like, this makes no sense. For completely forgetting he played in Denver for like eight years. Like He's Mr. Colorado, yeah. <laughs> he had the full avalanche uh, fit on. Uh, Carmelo Wall. Je- uh, yeah, the jeans were avalanche, too. They just didn't show him. Uh, <laughs> the fucking drip, man. But yeah, uh, Fab Flournoy's uh, former employer, the Toronto Raptors, uh, 30 and a half. If they still had Fab, man. <laughs> Is it 30? They went uh, 25 last year, but the last like two months was like, let's keep our pick. Yeah. So I, that's shady, which also, one, I don't think, I think they'd end up conveying the pick anyway. <laughs> but two, I think it's going to end up being a good play. You gave up a higher pick and a worse draft, but I think you get your stuff back. Like, I think they're set now going forward. Yeah. I also thought, I was like, I think I'd really like this team if they just kept Siakam. <laughs> if it was, like, quickly, RJ, Scotty Barnes, Siakam, and one of the centers they keep trading first round pick, like a Pirtle, <laughs> Olenek rotation. It's like, I, I don't think that's a terrible team. But they did not do that. So, no. I think they'll be in the like play in mix. So they're not tanking, but I don't think they're a play. I'll, I'll go higher. This feels like a 31 win team to me. Yeah, I mean, Scotty Barnes coming off an all star appearance. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's between like quickly Bruce Brown, RJ Barrett, uh, Agbaji, who I still do like even if Danny Ainge gave up on him, which is a terrible sign for him. Uh, he was cooking. That might be what he needed. Grady Dick. Like, uh, there's there's a decent amount here. It's all young for the most part. Like, I, this is a team, if they add somebody in a year or two, like, I don't know if they'll ever be a player in free. Ask Siakam, OG Ananobi, Kawhi Leonard type. Fred no, Van Fleet? What are you thinking? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, see, that's the thing. Like, I'm fine losing kind of all those guys. Uh, OG, I think they probably should have kept, especially since they got nothing for him. I was going to say, uh, I'm fine. I can't lose Van Fleet for nothing, I, knowing somebody's going to immediately pay him $40 million. There, There's market. They got quickly. I did immediately forget how they got quickly. So I'm, I'm in on, on that part of it. Uh, I was more thinking draft capital, especially the year before when it was like Memphis was like, oh, how many picks? We'll give you all the picks for OG. That's more what I was thinking. Um but yeah, I mean, quickly came in, immediately averaged 18 and a half for them, shooting 40%. He Barrett was both three. cooking. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I'm, I think Barrett's hurt right now. He pulled a hamstring, I think. Hmm. But uh, Scotty Barnes, too. Like, I, I do think this is going to be a solid team. Now, I'm saying the exact same thing I said last year heading into, <laughs> heading into the season for them. I, also, uh, I called it on the Raptors last you year. Did. I get my you jokes on the pits. And I smoked it. I was like, it. I, I think this falls apart, man. You absolutely nailed it. You did. You drilled the Raptors. But it, before they threw in the flag, it was like they were always like two games below 500 like for mm, the first two like, and a half I, months mm, of the season. It was yeah, very something weird. stinky around here. Yeah, and then they just pulled the ripcord and, and stunk real bad the, the rest of the year. Um, but, yeah, I, I think 30 is too low. I think it's like a 35, 37 win team. I got them low 30s, but I do, I'll go slightly. You said 29 and a half or 30 and a half? 30 and a half, yeah. Yeah, I, between 31 and 35 wins. So I'll, yeah, I'll go higher. And again, I said all of those things last year. Like, oh, there's enough talent here to scrape by. And it wasn't. It, it very much wasn't. So if, if I mean, it's wrong what, again, <laughs> what's it? It's like they, could they hit their number for last year? Yeah, if they just wanted to like run it back, like 
give OG this 200 in Siakam and lock yourself into that. I right. get they didn't want to do that. It's just the timing of the timing of it. But what you have is what you have. Um, again, if they just had Siakam at the four, I was like, oh, that's a pretty solid team. But Right. They could have just traded OG. They yeah, I was going to say, if they just did that, kept Siakam, it's like, okay. But they didn't. It's a no. higher for me. The Washington Lower. Wizards. What do you think their number is? What is it? They won 15 games last year. This I, what the Nets were 16 and a half. It's 20 and a half. Lower. They got Bob Carrington in the draft. Koulibaly year two. They signed Valenciunas, which I, I do think raises their floor quite a mm-hmm. bit, even if it's by five wins. Sar, obviously, they took high. That's it. That's the whole team. Everyone else here. Uh, Abdi out. Big stinky. Yeah, Abdi uh, out. Well, Malcolm Brogdon, I think he's a floor raiser as well. For sure. I think he, is he already hurt too, though? I think he is. Uh, surprise. So you're right. Uh they had 39 games last year for Brogdon. Marvin Bagley's here. Didn't know that. And he was New traded coach, here last which year. I, I don't know anything about him, but... Uh, Brian Keefe. Good luck to from, him. From Winchester, Massachusetts. He went 8-31 and 31 last year. So you got your work cut out for you, my boy. Sure did. It's in Brooklyn the two years prior. He was an OKC before that, and that was a, a big, stinky OKC team. The Lakers before that. Knicks before that. OKC before that. Well, this is big Keith. Sadiq Bay in. Sure. <laughs> this is a basketball team. Like, yeah, some sure. people would argue against it. I, I don't know that you'd win that argument. I gotta say, I ain't never seen Sar. He always have his braids never look crazy, but they all never look like he just walked out the chair. We gotta get him a, a, a European braid, a European uh, barber, imported. He is from Bordeaux, France, which is unbelievable. So for Bordeaux out in Bordeaux, I'm shocked. Uh, uh, Pop didn't trade for him. Just a just a talk vino. Who's to say he's? Listen, Papa's waiting till Brian Keith goes back to Oklahoma City. Then he pops up as the, in San Antonio. Johnny Davis was somehow worse year two, uh, which is remarkable because he was terrible year one. Uh, Top 10 pick. Yeah. Was he nine? Tenth. Tenth overall. Jordan Poole's still here. Part of the problem. And Kuzma, I mean, he's going to have a busy early November, so he won't be focused on basketball. <laughs> uh, C-SPAN Kuzma. <laughs> After election, though, he'll be back in there. I wish he was just watching Figures C-SPAN. Be back in <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah, it's like I'm, I'm interested to see Bob. It's about it. It's about all I got. <laughs> cool Bali. I wish too. him well, but I don't really want to watch. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll watch the highlights <laughs> after he do well. They've got a Taylor Funk on this team. Who's a rookie, started college in 2017. He got a job. I'm happy for him. Finally. In basketball, they will at least get a damn job. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a 20 and a half. That's a lower for me, man. I don't had too much higher on the mid. I gotta, I gotta drop the floor somewhere, and this is where I, where I choose to do it. That's what I mean. I've dropped. Like I feel like I've tried to factor in everything. This being the the thirtieth team is making it tough because I've, I've, I feel like I'm twenty nine for twenty nine up to now. Uh, sure. And I, I don't want to blow it. Are they a twenty and sixty two team bad? They won 50, you said 15, 15, 15 American games? games last year. No Cooper flag either, by the way. 
They won no, 15 but that, games for, for Alex R. That's what I'm trying to factor. Like, I don't think they're smart enough to be planning for that. Like, last year, I do think they were trying to win basketball games. <laughs> it's just very funny to the rest of us, but I think they very seriously were like, let's let's play some hoops. Uh, and they, they didn't. Well, this is why I kind of think they're – they might be serious. like the Avdia move for Carrington is like okay we're like we're going young trade I don't even remember what they got for him but moving uh, like Gafford midway through the season I do sure. think start of the year they were like okay let's just see what we had they were like oh we have nothing like less than absolutely nothing let's we stink I do think they'll be like stinking stinking for flag actively bad I yeah I'm going lower here. I was gonna say, did they? Didn't they just get this GM too? Yeah, May May twenty fourth, twenty twenty three. I was gonna say last, yeah. yeah. So this is his be Michael his Winger full year went from the Clippers. Yeah, yep. that's when he showed up, and his first move was to trade Beal. Right? Uh, no, his first move was to uh, he drafted Jarris Walker and traded him. And uh, Trace uh, Jackson uh, Davis traded all of them. That's uh, what's like they moved up or down a pick and got Koulibaly in, I think, a second or something like that. Yeah, because he, he got a second it, to move up. One of them. He got he got on the job May twenty fourth, uh, June twenty second, <laughs> and twenty third was the draft. And on June twenty third, yeah, June twenty third is when he traded Chris Stapps to the Celtics. And then he also that same day traded Bradley Beal to the Suns. So he may very well he is serious. I will get that's him what I'm saying. Him. I think he might be like we're tearing it down. And the new right. coach, I don't know enough about him, but even a new like them bringing the keeping the interim usually a sign you like. Hey man, well let's just see right. what we got this year. It's a lower for me, man. Even if Trade. I like th- these are steps in the right direction. Yeah, he's pretty much just been shedding everything. Like, even the guys he signed, he signed Hammy Diallo. You know what I mean? Like, is that mm. uh, the the greatest signing of all time? No, but it's a young, yes. athletic uh, guy. No. It's like, let's see. Now, he took Sar. Maybe Sar stinks, but I, I can understand the process that led him to Sar. I'm still in on Sar. I don't really care what Summer looked like. Uh, and then, yeah. No, he's playing much better lately. Sign and trade for... Valence of Eunice. Uh, it's got uh, object because he wouldn't have, he didn't sign that Denny extension. I don't think he did. No, he didn't. So he was like, You're out. And then, yeah, bought Bob Carrington, signed Sadiq Bay, Kaishan George. Like, I, got he may be that. cooking. I don't know. Like they got not that Patrick Baldwin's going to be good, but just picked him up from Golden State in the Jordan Poole trade. Like, hey, y'all not going to play him? Let's just uh-huh. like throw him this way. Let's just see. Cool. I don't think he signed this deal, but Kuzma's deal three more years, but it does decline. Okay. 20, he did sign Kuzma. Did, okay. So 20, signed him to a declining deal. Winger might, might be all right. So again, long term, I think this is a much better foundation than they've had in. Since John Wall, Bill, Otto Porter, but for this year, lower, which exactly what Michael Winger should want. Right. Yeah, I, I, I do trust Michael Winger for some unknown reason. Uh, like just looking at the moves he's made, I do like. I didn't know Basketball Reference had <laughs> like a GM's page uh, with oh, all their yeah. moves. They've, listen, they've got it all. And this is something I've never stumbled upon. I've always used Wikipedia for stuff like this. This is tremendous. They're trying to short circuit that. No, for sure. I'm still not going to give you money, basketball reference. You can keep asking. Mm-hmm. It's not happening. You're going to give Wikipedia money? You're talking about oh, some beggars. Heavens, heavens, uh, no. <laughs> some damn, but get a damn job. No. <laughs> okay, this will let me know. I don't, I'm checking. I don't think Corey Kispert's been paid yet. Sure. We, I think we hear he gets signed to like a very fair deal or trade. Right. It's like, if I hadn't paid you yet, we're probably just going to trade. You're not in our future plans. So if they do that soon, it's like, oh, Kispert moved for something in the future. They weren't going to keep him. I'm like, okay, Winger, 
he has a plan. We'll see if they if it works. We'll see if they let him execute it. If he gets a very fair deal, I'll also think he's serious. Because if you're telling me, like, Casper, he was what, the 15th pick. Like 15th, yeah. Which is fine. It's not, like, super overdrafted. It's higher than I probably would have taken him. Um, independent of what else was around. You're telling me a guy shot six threes a game last year at 39%, five the year prior at 42%. Like, I, if I'm serious, this is a guy I can use. You know what I mean? Sam Hauser... It, like I think Hauser's better than Kispert, but I understand like in that kind of role. If this is my well, spot, Kispert's solid, man. Kispert's like he, he just hasn't gotten to show it at all. I think sure yeah, he's on a bad team, uh, mm-hmm. not his fault. But I Hauser, I think, is a much better defender and a better sh- like marginally better shooter, is which is why I think he's better. I, th- I trust Kispert more like with the ball in his hand, doing sure stuff. Yeah, driving. I think he's better. Passing's probably a toss up. I don't think either is neither of them made I, because of the, of the ball hand. I, I give that to Kispert, even if not a huge. Sure, man. He's not. You're not playing on the Celtics if you can't pass. This is why I think Hauser's fine. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, if you put Hauser on the Wizards, like I, I don't think that looks great either. Um, yeah, I, yeah. That's why if Kispert, I was looking online to see. There were this is from Bleacher Report, but the rumors were between eleven and thirteen million. If he gets the Okoro deal, I'm like Winger cooking, man. Right. Yeah. We see he got three for thirty nine. It's like that's a very fair deal. He gets five uh two twenty five. If he get the Patrick Williams, I'd be like Winger is not cooking. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Or if he plays it out and it's like, no, go get a deal. I know nobody's gonna pay like they're not watching you. They're not gonna give you anything we can't match. So Right. Yeah. Also, like that, I don't know what they gave up to get Sadiq Bay, but tore his ACL last year. Free I think agent. They just, yeah. So they just signed him to be like, yeah, get healthy and we'll see. Was it a one year deal? I believe so. Um, how did I lose that page? God damn it! Sign. Three for twenty. Oh, that's not bad at all. Less I don't know than what seven. the market was. I don't know what the market like. Who else was given that? But if he gets back and gets healthy and is just a rotate decent wing, seven million years not hurting you at all. Yeah, listen, you're the Hornets. Oh, you're excuse me. Uh, you're they, the, they, they wish the they were the Hornets. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, you're the Wizards. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> you signing a free agent is uh, unbelievable. Uh, the hurdles you have to to leap to get that. But yes, uh, he's a—he's a—I mean, twenty-five-year-old does not have a birthday coming up. Red flag. Hmm. Who's averaged fourteen points a game for his career like that? Perfectly, and he's a look, as average a three-point shooter as you can get. Thirty-five point two for his career. I'll, obviously, didn't go well as well as the Hawks had hoped. Otherwise, he'd still be there. Well, I mean, it got hurt. His year one was good. His year two was not. Then he got hurt, which right. sucks, but. This was, was I was telling people I thought the move would be, hey, can I sign him to a one year like twelve million so when he gets healthy I can trade him? But <laughs> I mean three for I, twenty. I feel like he's super tradable right now. Yes, yeah, uh, nobody makes seven million. But okay, uh, Michael Winger, I I noticed you. <laughs> 